Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I mean over the top beautiful, Thanksgiving Thursday, Thanksgiving 2020, uh, yes, Thanksgiving in the year 2020 here at Collapse Chronicles here in this undisclosed little piece of paradise on the planet and uh, a little dog and I need to figure out what to do with this gorgeous day but uh, all kidding aside unbelievable oh yes I am Sam Mitchell this is Collapse Chronicles and happy Thanksgiving uh, all kidding aside unbelievably we have some something to be grateful for on Thanksgiving, so I'm gonna I'm gonna step out of character here and bring you some absolutely flabbergasting good news, and we can thank Donald Trump Jr. Donald Trump Jr. for saving the planet. Uh, good for you, Donnie boy. And uh, this is coming out a short, sweet story out of, uh, who is this from? I don't even, uh, good old Associated Press, right here in the Thanksgiving headline. Something to be thankful for. This is not a joke. This is not the onion, as I would have thought. Take it away, AP. Give us something to be grateful for. Trump administration denies, denies planned mine near Alaska fishery. I need to pick my uh, chin up uh, off the ground. The Trump administration on Wednesday, just yesterday afternoon, effectively killed a contentious proposed mine in Alaska. A golden copper prospect once envisioned to be nearly as deep as the Grand Canyon and could produce enough waste to fill an NFL stadium nearly 3,900 times. All of this near the headwaters of the world's largest sockeye salmon fishery. There you go, the good old Army Corps of Engineers, you know, those, uh, <laughs> the, uh, those, uh, y y y you know, environmentalists, those save the planet environmentalists at the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers concluded that the proposed project is contrary to the public interest. Huh and denied a permit to build the Pebble Mine under both the Clean Water Act and the Rivers and Harbors Act, the agency said in a statement. Of course, Donald Trump uh, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers are two of the biggest enemies of the Clean Water Act and the Rivers and Harbors Act. Uh, on the planet, so there has got to be something going on. The rejection was a surprise. Yes, a surprise. There is the the understatement uh, of the year. The rejection was a surprise. It, meaning the denial of the permit, is at odds with President Donald Trump's efforts to encourage energy development in Alaska, including opening up part of the Arctic National Wildlife to drilling, and other moves nationwide to roll back environmental protections that would benefit oil and gas and other industries. The Corps of Engineers also seemed to signal just a few months ago that after almost two decades of political wrangling, Pebble Mine was on a fast track to approval, a reversal 
from what many had expected under the Obama administration, you know, that, that Save the Planet guy, uh, Barack Obama, um, you, you know, is not going to approve this. And Joe Biden would have pulled it off the, the burner anyway. Uh, but unlike drilling elsewhere in Alaska, there, there you go, yes, but let, let's, a little correction here, Associated Press, but just like drilling everywhere else in Alaska, the mine proposed for the southwestern Bristol Bay region could have negatively affected the state's billion dollar fishing industry. And finally, let's get to the reason and the only reason this mine was rejected. Conservationist and even Donald Trump's eldest son, Donald Trump Jr., sounded the alarm on the project before the administration changed course. Uh, it is Donald Trump Jr. who pulled the plug on this. Thank you, Donald Trump Jr., for 20 years, 20 years, uh, environmentalists, uh, anybody with a brain have been fighting this planet-eating scheme, and it wasn't until Donald Trump Jr. Uh, voiced his opinion. Do we have a quote from... Uh, do we... Where is a quote? Uh, maybe I... Okay, I'm moving down the article, and then I'll go back up. Trump's eldest son was among those who voiced opposition earlier this year after senior Trump campaign advisor Nick Ayers tweeted in August that he hoped the president would direct the EPA to block Pebble Mine. Trump Jr. responded, quote, as a sportsman, yes, you know, the trophy hunter, elephant, uh, and lion killer Donald Trump Jr., that sportsman, as a sportsman who has spent plenty of time in the area, I agree 100%. The headwaters of Bristol Bay and the surrounding fishery are too unique and fragile to take any chances with. Close quote. Thank you, Mr. Sportsman, Elephant, and Lion Murderer, Donald Trump Jr., uh, for single-handedly blocking the mine. And, and of course, uh, you can imagine uh, that the CEO, the Planet Eaters, are in an absolute livid rage today, feeling backstabbed uh, by the Planet Eater-in-Chief. Uh, the CEO of the Pebble Limited Partnership, the Mines Developers, said he was dismayed, <coughs> dismayed by the decision, especially after the Corps had indicated in an environmental impact statement in July that the mine and fishery could coexist, which is like saying uh, Sancho Panza could coexist with a family of chipmunks. Quoting CEO John Shively, quote, One of the real tragedies of this decision is the loss of economic opportunities for people living in the area. Of course, I'm pretty sure John is from Canada, that uh, his, his planet-eating corporation not even based in the United States. I think I am giving correct information that the profits would have gone to Canadians. Uh, anyway, Shively said 
the environmental review, quote, clearly describes those benefits. And now a politically driven decision has taken away the hope that many had for a better life. This is also a lost opportunity for the state's future economy. Yes, the Planet Eater said they are considering their next steps, which could include an appeal of the Corps' decision. Uh, but of course, uh, you know, they have no chance under Biden. Uh, Joe Biden, uh, for, uh, for all we can say about Joe Biden, uh, Joe Biden would not be approving the pebble mine. Joe Biden would not be opening up the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge for oil drilling. Uh, anyway, okay, but let's listen to Catherine Karskallen, executive director of the group Commercial Fishermen for Bristol Bay, having a great Thanksgiving today. Quote, today Bristol Bay's residents and fishermen celebrate the news that Pebbles permit has been denied. Tomorrow we get back to work. You know, back to work. Uh, fishing, uh, you know, ripping all the salmon out of the river that this mine wouldn't have killed. Uh, her group wants Congress to pass laws protecting the region. Quote, we have learned the hard way over the last decade that Pebble is not truly dead until protections are finalized. In July, the Corps of Engineers released an environmental review, which I reported on, that the mine developer saw as laying the groundwork for key federal approvals. The review said that under normal operations, under normal operations, Pebble Mine, quote, would not be expected to have a measurable effect on fish numbers and result in long-term changes to the health of the commercial fisheries in Bristol Bay, close quote. However, in August, the Corps said it had determined that discharges at the mine site would cause, quote, unavoidable adverse impacts to aquatic resources and laid out required steps to reduce those effects. Um, even if the Corps had approved the project, there was still no guarantee it would have been built. It would have needed state approval, which it would have gotten, and President-elect Joe Biden has expressed opposition to the project. Uh, critics of the mine saw Pebble Mine as getting a lifeline under the Trump administration. Last year, the Environmental Protection Agency withdrew restrictions on development that were proposed under the Obama administration. But then they bring up, however, Trump's eldest son was among those who voiced opposition. Uh, and that is the only reason. Uh, this is this hilarious quote from Adam Colton, executive director of the Alaska Wilderness League. Quote, the credit for this victory belongs not to any politician, but to Alaskans and Bristol Bay's indigenous people, as well as to hunters, anglers, and wildlife enthusiasts from all across the country who spoke out in opposition to this dangerous and ill-conceived project. Uh, Oh, I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually shocked 
by this next statement. Alaska's two Republican U.S. senators who support oil and gas development and mining hailed the rejection of the pebble mine permit. Whoa. I, I, now I really I have to pick my chin up off the ground for the second time this morning. Senator Lisa Murkowski, who of course is one of the biggest planet eaters uh, in the U.S. Senate, said the decision affirmed her position that it is the wrong mine in the wrong place. Quote, she said, quote, it will help ensure the continued protection of an irreplaceable resource, Bristol Bay's world-class salmon fishery. Um, Senator Dan Sullivan, who, who very well could be, Dan Sullivan could be the, the single most despicable person in the U.S. Senate. This Republican, I, I, I mean, he, his veins bleed crude oil. Uh, Senator, Republican Senator Dan Sullivan said he would remain an advocate for good paying jobs derived from resource development. Quote, Quoting Sullivan, quote, however, given the special nature of the Bristol Bay watershed and the fisheries and subsistence resources downstream, Pebble had to meet a high bar so that we do not trade one resource for another, and Pebble did not meet that bar. Unbelievable. Dan Sullivan and Lisa Murkowski agreeing with uh, Donald Trump Jr. Y you know, when Dan Sullivan, Lisa Murkowski, uh, Donald Trump Jr., and the U.S. Corps, or Army Corps of Engineers all agree that some planet-eating gold and copper mine is not a good thing for this planet. Uh, we have something to be grateful for here uh, in 2020 on Thanksgiving Day. I cannot believe it. A tiny ray of good news here on Thanksgiving. So uh, remember to thank uh, Donald Trump Jr. in your uh, Thanksgiving Day blessing. But with that, I have to wrap up this rare glimmer of good news on Collapse Chronicles and uh, try to hook up with my, my friend down here in paradise and decide what we are going to do with this absolutely gorgeous day. Get out there and find something to be thankful for in 2020 while you still can. Bye, guys.